We're Danielle and Tommy. We spent the last three years traveling around North America, and now we're renovating this 1973 Airstream. We're now four months into this renovation, and we've finally pushed past some of the biggest hurdles in this project. In this episode, we're bringing you guys along as we slowly but surely get our feet back on the floor. Michelle's back down. Best day ever. Big old fresh tank right here. It's going in today. Today's the day. We've been gone for more than a week and a half because of the holidays and weather, mainly the holidays. Um, and we're still kind of, I mean, we've moved forward. It's not like, it's not like we've been at the same position the whole time. It's just Check that the frame. Check things, out the frame. I'm gonna show them the frame. Everything's been going just a little slower. Um, so we'll show you what we've been doing these last Week? week and a half? <laughs> Two weeks? Two weeks yeah. right. With anything new, there's an expected learning curve. Learning to weld was definitely something new to us, but Tommy ended up really getting the hang of it quickly and enjoying the process of restoring our 47-year-old frame. We got a call today about our axles coming in. Our axles will ship by the end of this week is what we found out. And if they come in by the 14th, it's been exactly four months since we ordered them. So, you know, it's good they're coming in. We wanted to get the axles in before we put the subfloor in. We're gonna start there, put the tank in, and hopefully over the progression of the next weeks, we'll be putting the subfloor in. Yeah. All right, Real soon. let's do it. Reinstalling the original fresh water tank wasn't exactly difficult, but just like everything else in this build, it took way longer and was more frustrating than we had initially expected. to figure out how to get it off the truck. <laughs> oh, we've got our axles. And we rented a truck because we are still on the hunt for the perfect truck. We're about a month out of buying a truck that we will be towing the Airstream with for the foreseeable future. You too, thank you so much. All right, guys at the house. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. So we read in a few Airstream forums that you are supposed to mount the shock first before you lift it. So that's what we're doing now. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. Uh, I won't slow down. We might not even have to drill. Ah, it looks like we'll have to drill. So repeat, I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way. Up and I won't. I won't slow down. Steady. Got the old axles out. We got the new ones in. The brackets fit um, the, in the same spot. The brackets spots. did not or, fit. Yeah, the brackets didn't fit. The notch for the axle was the same size. So that slid up. And all I had to do was weld in the old holes and then drill new holes. This like wraps up all of our framework. Yeah. Next up, we're going to do the subfloor, install our gray tank. Drop the shell. I mean, and then drop the shell. Yeah, and then we're back. And then belly business. pan and insulation and all, that, all yeah. those things. And then so, we're just gonna be running downhill at that time because woodwork is downhill. where we. Downhill. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, we went up it. the hardest part. <laughs> now we're headed downhill, baby. Okay. <laughs> this 
what she was doing with the cardboard, just filling in that gap. I can show them. Yeah. Now we have that. That's great. There's our line. And Danielle's gonna do some jigsaw cuts today. Oh, nice. Okay, so. I'll look up if you line it up. Street side, oh. center. So this would be center. Yep. The same. How's it looking? It looks exactly the same. So that's what we did on the other side. We made this little template. Already paying off that we kept that piece of wood. So let's get back to cutting. I feel really nervous about this. Like, what if it's wrong? <laughs> you want to measure again? Test fitted that first piece of subfloor that we cut a second ago. Uh, ready? Yeah. Uh, how's it looking? It's not fitting on my side. Um, and it was just a little bit too big on some of the curvy spots. So we're gonna sand it smooth on the entire thing because it just needs to be cleaned up. We just set the depth of how far we want it to go. It's about two inches um, all the way down. And now we're gonna route it out. We just finished up day one of working on the subfloor, and I would say it went really well. Mm -hmm. We got two pieces done out of five. Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the rest of it goes just as smooth as this did. Yeah, for sure. Later. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, day two. So we have three more pieces to cut. Um, Danielle's styling and profiling. Pockets are. There's a lot. There are a lot of pockets. You got one right here in pocket. Anyways, um, so we're gonna. That's a pencil is pocket. my boobs. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're gonna start off by seeing. Oh, and it's not windy today, which is really fantastic because it was way too windy yesterday to do anything. Um, we're gonna start off today with seeing if uh, the back curve matches the front matches the front curve because if it matches super cool we're just going to trace it cut it out if it doesn't match then we have to figure out how to get the curve let's make a custom curve yeah we'll yeah, be good all right let's start let's go okay so, are you so it's a different curve yeah are you lined up at least on the outside Are fitting our third piece of wood right now this is the first one that's going to need um, different cuts on it instead of just a full piece of wood there's going to be a cutout for the wheel well and then also for our fresh water tank um, spot
I should have worn my car hearts yesterday. I was wondering why you didn't. I was in a like kind of a bad mood because I was cold the whole time. This time I'm gonna get uh, a perfect, perfect. Blue streak. Good mark. Oh, no. Yeah. Tommy says he wants car hearts for his birthday. What color? Uh, I think I want gray. Really? How alternative of you. I don't want to be too matchy, Matt. You don't want to match me? We have four out of the five pieces fitted, cut, and everything. This is what it looks like. We have two of them in. Um, the other two are being spark your thing, spark your thing. About to cut, we're about to find the curve for this last piece here, which is four feet width. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be, have to be perfect, but it's fine, it's cool. I'm not worried about it. And then we'll turn that over and use it over there. Day three of working on putting the subfloor in. Um, we went and picked up insulation yesterday, so we are going to start. Um, can you fix this? Let's just hug first. <laughs> that will help. Just you want to get in on this? So we're doing a different insulation on the interior than we're doing on the exterior floor part. So we got rock wool exterior that we're going to put into the belly pan. Um, yeah, we have a lot to do today. It's 12 o'clock, so we're running late. No, we're not. We're doing fine. We're not running late. Right on time. Is it that heavy? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's expanding. Insulation is complete on this front end. Check it out, check it well, out. Well, technically it's not complete all the way because like yeah. eventually the belly pan will go up and you stuff that. But um, it, this is complete for the subfloor to go on it. Mm -hmm. One part done. Now we gotta fit this piece in, drop it, make sure it fits. Fit the front piece. Yep. It's gonna be really exciting. All right, let's do it. We should get in half the floor today. You got it made for. He's living, slipping out the back door. We're gonna get the floor on today. Yeah. That's a bad way to put it. We're gonna drop the shell back down today. Officially. It's sitting on blocks right on top of the sump floor. Today is Sunday, and this past Monday is when we cut all the wood. So we're making some really good progress. I'm really excited. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit lower. 
It's gonna hit over here. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, I can, while we're lowering it, I can take them out slowly. Okay. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, perfect. Oh, I see. It's a good fit, though. Got our first piece officially down. Now we are going to do the same thing with the front and it will officially be off blocks. The shell's back down. Best day ever. screw in. Sunday we got the shell back down on the floor. We thought we were going to be able to like screw and drill it all down to position but it's kind of taken us a few days to get the adjustments right of how the shell sits on the wood which sits on the frame so um, it was a little frustrating but I feel like we have it now. Our subfloor will have a combination of deck screws, self-tapping screws, and bolts that secure the subfloor to the shell, C-channel, and the frame. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. These are these two bolts that we just got down. This go into the main frame and it really anchors down the shell. And now we're gonna go around and tighten up our outriggers, get those all bolted in. I thought we were going to take the bracing down. Oh yeah, first. we might as well. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubt. Be free with me. this week's episode with our subfloor being completely in and bolted down. Yep, and now we're just buck riveting the shell to the C-channel. Hopefully next week or whenever we can get out the next episode, we will be doing the wiring, putting our insulation in, and putting our skins back up. So we're really excited to be at this point and we really appreciate anybody and everybody that's tuned in for our Airstream renovation. Yeah, thanks for following along guys. We are learning as we go, so this is just a really big project for us. Bear with us, <laughs> it takes some time. As usual, like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next episode because things are just getting started. Ooh, things are right. gonna start moving. <laughs> thanks guys. <laughs>